everybody! Do you ever do things just to see what'll happen? I do, and when I was a kid, that would get me into a lot of trouble. But apparently I never learned my lesson, and that's why today I'm making this caramel corn nut brittle. Some people around here think I'm gonna break a tooth on this, and maybe they're right. So let me show you how I made it, and stick around till the end to see if I'm gonna need emergency dental work. Let's take a look at the ingredients, and this is a very simple recipe. I've got two cups of sugar, one third cup of light corn syrup, this is one half cup of water, and I've got one four ounce stick of unsalted butter. I think I'll be getting plenty of salt off of these. And here is one half teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of vanilla is optional. And I'll be using two cups of corn nuts. And each of these four ounce bags has just a little more than one cup in it. And the only special piece of equipment you'll need is a candy slash turkey fryer thermometer. Now let's get this started by putting in our sugar, the water, corn syrup, One eternity later. And the butter. We'll save the baking soda and the corn nuts for later. Now I'm gonna heat this over kind of medium high heat, maybe just a hair under medium high, and I'll cook it and stir it occasionally until it hits 300 degrees Fahrenheit on the candy thermometer. And I just want to clip the thermometer to the side of the pot and get it down into the ingredients, but not so far down that it's making contact with the bottom of the pan, because that can give you a false reading. While that's bubbling away is a good time to get your baking sheet ready and you can just use a plain non-stick baking sheet but mine is a little older and worse for the wear and not quite as non-stick as it once was so I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of parchment on here and I will even hit that with just a tiny spritz of cooking spray. It should take around 10 minutes for this to come up to temperature and there will be a noticeable color change from that kind of light yellow to a light brown. Double checking with a more accurate handheld is always a good idea. Now I think we're there. Oh yes, we are there. And now this part, kill the heat or take this off of the heat if you're using gas or an electric range, because this is gonna foam up. I'm gonna add in the baking soda now. And if it foams up too much, and hits your burner, it can be a dangerous situation. We'll kinda quickly stir that in there. You can see that foaming up really good. And now, right in with the nuts. Stir them really well. And I'm gonna work kind of quickly here. Get this out of the way. Bring up my baking sheet. And now we'll dump this right out and onto there. Ooh. 
the all out of there. And then I want to kind of spread it around. So I'll use the back of a spatula or a big spoon. Put a little cooking spray on there so it doesn't stick. And we're going to spread this out until it's pretty thin. Only like one corn nut thick. And there you have it. Now all I've got to do is let this cool all the way down and then I'll smack it around and break it into some nice big chunks. How we did. Check out that bite. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that is like the most robust caramel corn ever. <laughs> The brittle is nice and crispy, it's got a great buttery caramel flavor, and it really does go well with the corn nuts. Sweet and salty, maybe a bit played out, but it's still a dynamite combo. I was a little bit worried that the oil on the corn nuts would keep the brittle from sticking to them very well, but it did good. Those nuts are quite securely cradled in that hard shell like a baseball player. But of course, the question still looms. Will biting into this have you rushing to the dentist? Not at all. If you're able to eat corn nuts, you can definitely eat this. Coating them in caramel hasn't made these nuts any harder than they are right out of the sack. This was a really fun experiment and a success. This brittle is gonna go great alongside my peanut butter potato chip treats and the Frito bars. And if you like this, you'll wanna check out that recipe on the channel. So if you like corn nuts and caramel corn, give this one a try and I know you're gonna love it. And never stop having fun in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. This does give me another idea.